from its evolutionary history to the gruesome legends surrounding it, here's why you should stay away from this island. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You, hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 7. Isla da Camara Grange This island has crystal clear waters, a lush rainforest, and a mild climate that's typically between 65 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. From the outside, Isla da Camara Grange, located about 21 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, looks like an ideal holiday destination. However, upon closer inspection, you'll find that it's actually one of the deadliest places on Earth. The island's surface is 4,600 square feet and by some estimates, there were once over 400,000 snakes. This would amount to a snake for every 10.6 square feet, which is why Isla de Camada Grange has appropriately come to be known as Snake Island. Today, the snake population is believed to be much lower than previous estimates. Nevertheless, the island is still home to thousands of highly venomous pit vipers which are capable of swiftly killing a human. As such, the Brazilian Navy has closed Snake Island to the public, only allowing access for researchers collecting data. Number 6. History Despite its reputation as one of the world's most dangerous places, the island was once populated. The name Ilha de Camara Grange roughly translates as Big Burnt Island. Its origins can be traced to an attempt by the local population to clear the land by deforestation. They burned off portions of the rainforest to make room for a banana plantation. A lighthouse was built in 1909 with the purpose of steering ships away from the island. Once it was converted to being automated in the 1980s, the last human inhabitants left the island. In fact, there aren't any mammals living on Snake Island at all. One of the most obvious questions is how the island became inhabited by so many snakes. The main theory is that about 11,000 years ago, rising sea levels separated Ilha de Camada Grange from mainland Brazil. The snake species that remained on the island evolved differently than the others. Since they'd basically become stranded on a strip of land, the snakes had no predators at ground level. This allowed them to reproduce at a rapid rate and spread throughout the island. They also didn't have much prey as all the rodent population had disappeared so they adapted accordingly. Their main source of food became the migratory birds which visited the island at certain times of the year. When snakes hunt, they'll sometimes bite their prey and allow the venom to kill it before tracking it down and eating it. That being said, for the snakes of Isla de Camada Grange, tracking their prey wasn't an option as they could simply fly off. That's why their venom evolved to become very powerful. It's so potent, in fact, that it can melt human skin almost instantly. Number 5. Golden Lance Head The main reason why nobody's allowed on the island is the Golden Lance Head, a dangerous pit viper only to be found on Isla de Camada Grange. Known by the scientific name Bothrops insularis, this snake can grow to lengths of 28 to 46 inches. It draws its common name from the elongated shape of its head which is typical of all snakes in the Bothrops genus and the yellowish-brown color of its underside. It's believed that a common ancestor of Bothrops insularis and Bothrops jararaca, the Golden Lancehead's closest mainland relative, migrated to the island when the sea levels were low. Evolution would eventually split the snake into two separate subspecies. The Golden Lancehead has a longer tail, which is most likely an adaptation that enables it to maneuver through trees, where it does most of its hunting. Its diet mainly consists of migratory birds and not rodents, like the Jararacas. Even though the island is home to about 42 bird species, the Golden Lancehead mostly relies on two, a type of flycatcher called Eliana chilensis and Troglodytes musculus, also known as the Southern House Wren. Instead of biting, releasing, and then tracking its prey, the Golden Lancehead holds the victim in its mouth once it's envenomated. Its venom is five times stronger than that of the Jararaca and potentially fatal to humans. In 3% of cases, death can still occur even after the person has received treatment. Golden Lancehead Venom is the fastest acting of all Bothroth snakes as it can kill an adult in less than 90 minutes. 
It has hemotoxic components, which eat away at flesh as well as neurotoxic components. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, swelling, bruising, local pain, blood blisters, and severe tissue necrosis. Those bitten can also experience blood in the urine and vomit, intestinal bleeding, kidney failure, and brain hemorrhaging. Number 4. Venom Research Bothrops insularis' relatives, also known by the common name lanceheads, are responsible for about 90% of all the snake bites in Brazil. Studying the potent venom of the golden lancehead may help in the treatment of future snake-related bites. There are also other areas in which the snake's venom could be useful. Marcelo Juarte is a scientist with the Brazilian Butantan Institute, which studies the pharmaceutical applications of reptilian venom. He said, we're just scratching this universe of possibilities of venoms. He believes golden lancehead venom is scientifically promising and might help with blood clots, circulation, and heart disease. Number 3. Outlawed A policy put in place by the Brazilian government requires any legally sanctioned visits to the island to be accompanied by a doctor in case of run-ins with the local snake population. That doesn't mean that a permit to visit the island is available for anyone, provided they bring a doctor with them. The ban put in place by the Brazilian Navy is meant to protect both the endangered golden lanceheads and those who could be bitten. Special permission is usually granted to researchers and biologists studying this rare snake species in the hopes of better understanding the Bothrops genus as a whole. The other people who visit the island are Brazilian Navy staff tasked with maintenance of the island's automated lighthouse. Number 2. Threats most people would regard setting foot on an island where the ground slithers with dangerous snakes as a nightmare come true. Others, however, see it as an opportunity to make money. Because of the demand from animal collectors and scientists, golden lance heads are a prized item on the black market. Wildlife smugglers, known as biopirates, risk their lives and legal consequences to trespass on the island in order to trap these snakes and sell them. The price for a golden lancehead reportedly ranges from ten to thirty thousand dollars. Biopirates aren't the only threats these snakes face. Other factors such as habit degradation and disease have contributed to halving the golden lancehead population in the past fifteen years. Since these snakes are only found on Isla de Camida Grange, their population was affected by whatever transformations the island went through. This included vegetation removal by the Brazilian Navy for building and maintaining a lighthouse as well as the intentional fires started by those who wanted to make room for a banana plantation. There are currently anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 golden lanceheads living on the island and the species is considered to be critically endangered. As fragile as their numbers seem to be, stepping foot on the island can very well be a death sentence for anyone without training and protective gear. Number 1. Legends It was inevitable that an island entirely populated by snakes will be surrounded by a fair degree of mythology. In the local legends, the vengeful, venomous snakes have taken their revenge on the people who dared colonize the island that was rightfully theirs. In one of the stories, a hungry fisherman went to the island to pluck some bananas unaware of the dangers. He stepped carelessly and was bitten by a snake hanging from a tree branch. It's said that he was later found dead on his boat, sprawled in a pool of his own blood. Another story often repeated among locals concerns the last inhabitants of the island, the lighthouse keeper and his family. One night, they all fell asleep but had forgotten to close one of the windows. A snake slithered through it and bit one of the family members, who then awoke in screams. They all fled the home in a panic, racing to their boat, which was tied nearby. However, before they could reach the boat, they were viciously attacked by a large number of snakes. The man, his wife and their three children were all killed. Other legends tell how the snakes got to the island in the first place. It's said that Isla de Quemada Grange was once a popular place for pirates to bury their stolen treasure. They supposedly left the snakes behind as protection and brought handlers with them whenever they had to retrieve their loot or add to it. Thanks for watching. What else do you know about Snake Island? Tell us all about it in the comments section below.